All right, uh, time to open this thing up. Let me show you how to do that in case you get one of these things. So the hardest part of everything is to get off the front panel. Um, so on the sides of this, these rack gears is a little piece of plastic and it took me a long time to actually pry this thing loose. Now it's just a little piece of plastic stuck on there, but um, you're worried about breaking it. You really have to get something thin in there and just lever it out and then, uh, and then these will come out, okay? So that's the first thing we have to do. There's one on, one on each side. So you take those two out. And then uh, you'll need some Torx. Everything is Torx in this thing, so you'll need some uh, some Torx drivers. And there's four uh, four screws in the side. All right. So we just need to take those four get those four loose without dropping them on the floor. And I'm going to just keep them here so they don't get lost. We'll take off the other one. All right, so keep those all together. All right, so the next thing you need to do is there are two Torx on the sides and they are smaller size. So those need to come out. And they come out all the way. All right, keep these together. Okay, so now the front panel's loose. Now all you have to do is just pry it off. And there's nothing really easy to grab onto. I've had this off a couple times now and it still, it still fights me. The first time was really hard. Now it's just fighting me. Um, so you just kind of have to get your fingers in there and pry. The, these will stay, stay in the machine. They're part of the receiver unit so you can kind of Press off of those if you can. There we go. Get it loose. All right. So when it comes out, be gentle. And then there's one. Oops, one thing came out here. There's one. There's one uh, ribbon cable, and that connects the connects the front panel on. So you just take this, uh, pull off this one ribbon cable, and uh, there are these strips here that, um, did I not need to take those out? Oh, I didn't need to take those out, I'm sorry. Um, you, you do kind of need to take them out eventually, uh, but not to take the front panel off. You could actually leave this in those two little things uh, each on the side. You can take the front panel off without removing these, but then these get in the way to slide the other things out. So they're good to take off anyway, so there you go. Okay, so that's out. Now, what we need to do is everything slides out from the front, okay? Um, if you're taking out the, uh, the RF section, uh, there's a bunch of screws you need to loosen and there's actually a little lever here that allows you to crank on it and that slides this thing out. And this one has a lever on it also that slides it out. Um, we don't need to do any of those, but we do need to take out the CRT, okay? Um, there's a couple screws we need to loosen, loosen, and then this is a handle right here. You're going to grab that, and the whole thing's going to slide out. And it's the CRT plus the power supply. So let's uh, move this someplace safe. All right, now I need to figure out which screws to remove. Um, there is instructions on the bottom that says disassembly procedures. They do tell you what to do. It's not all that clear, but it's, it's quite clear. So we want to remove the, uh, 
front panel tells you what to do. We want to remove the power supply and display enclosure. Remove the front panel. We'd have done that. Two bottom screws, items 15, which are these two screws here. And then uh, two rear panel screws, seven, which are these two. And then it should slide out. So let's do that. So this is the unit here. The two screws we need to take out are this one and this one. Is that right? This one is all gummed up. I've had them out before. Why is he all gummed up? Uh, that's pretty strange. Let me get something to dig him out with. He must have dug up some dirt. <laughs> I don't know how. Probably from the bench. It probably just uh, looks kind of like dirt. All right. That was interesting. It must have just eroded the uh, top of the bench. So we took those two out. Now there's two in the back. And the two in the back we need to take out are these two here. Um, if you uh, take out the uh, RF unit, you also need to loosen this uh, this screw here. This BNC is held on and it won't slide out. You need to actually remove that and then it, it'll slide down. But everything is uh, released now so it should it should come out the front. All right. Let's see if it does. There it goes. And this thing's kind of big and heavy. This part of it here. Let's see. Okay. Oops, that's not that's not a good place to grab onto. Okay, so now I need to show you one more thing here. Okay, so the CRT is held in, and we need to remove that. So the CRT has another uh, ribbon cable. So this goes to the front panel. This goes to the display in it. All right. All right, so this thing's big. I mean, it goes all the way to the back. So it is very, it is very, very big. Um, and there we go. All right. So now what we need to do is remove the motherboard. All right, so the motherboard's in here. And I believe there are some screws I need to take out for the motherboard. So let me move this and get it out of the way. So, back to the back. And the motherboard is held in with this screw. Let's see, does it say out here? Uh, CPU, remove front panel, remove one screw from the rear panel. Okay, it's only one screw, I thought it was two, but there's only one. So it's this screw right here. And uh, you don't need to remove any of the connectors or anything. This whole thing's gonna just uh, slide out, okay? So, from the front, all right, we're gonna grab this handle here, and, uh-oh, I'm missing one. I'm missing a screw. I thought there was another screw. Maybe not. Oh, 
no, it was, oh geez, you have to pull on it. <laughs> so everything was loose. You just need to pull on it. And uh, so people are always yelling at me for not using a static strap and I'll probably use one eventually here. But right now I'm holding on to the frame here with my hand. And so there's no way for it to get any potential other than how I'm holding it. So I'm kind of self grounding myself as I do things, always making sure I touch things. It's just kind of a natural habit that I have. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the, uh, let's see, let's move this around here so I can kind of put this on here. All right. All right. Let me check the camera here. All right, so I want to do, see how I reached over and I touched the, <laughs> I touched the metal first. Um, I want to do two things. I want to change this battery and uh, I have, I have a replacement battery here, but it doesn't have tabs on it. Um, so I'm going to have to solder some wires to it. And uh, that's going to go right there. And I don't want to have this thing lose any memory, okay? And so I am going to wire in a parallel power supply, a three volt power supply through a 1K resistor to keep this thing powered up at all times while I remove it and, uh, and uh, put the new one in. Um, so that's one thing I want to do. And then the other thing we're going to need to do is pull out the ROM, which is here. And uh, we will remove that. In fact, we can do that right now. Let's see here. All right, so it is a 32 pin PLCC and it's uh, stuck in there. You need one of these fancy tools to get it out, get it out, okay? And so. Uh, you put these in like a so. Let me take a picture of this so I know which way it goes in, just in case there's any doubt in my mind. I am going to take a picture of it. Right. Oops. Whenever you're taking things apart, take lots of pictures and then. If you ever get into trouble, you can always go back and look. All right, so these are going to go in here and reach in. And they're not going in all the way. There we go. That one went in all the way. How about this one? There we go. It went in all the way too. All right, so these will go in. They'll go in until they bottom out. Oh man, they're not really going in good. There we go. Ooh, I dropped it. All right, so he is out. There he is. Now the interesting thing about this prom is it's marked 8712 already. So it's an 8711 machine, but the prom is marked 8712, which is different from the, the A version. This is a C version. And so the next step is gonna to be to read this on the uh, programmer and dump its contents um, I am not going to reprogram this thing. I am going to edit it and put it into a new device. I have new, a new device. I'll reprogram that. We'll put this in here and uh, we will hopefully get this thing to operate differently. So I'm going to put this part in this anti-static bag for now. One for so I don't lose them and the other so I don't zap them. So now he's in the bag. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get this battery off of here and put this battery in. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to solder some uh, wires onto this thing so I can, uh, I can put him in there and then we'll have to figure out how to get rid of that guy. Okay, so a couple things. I have a ground strap attached to my watch. <laughs> So I do have a ground strap on. It is soldered to the board on the ground. So it is a hard contact to ground here. And uh, I have a residual 
residual. An additional power supply, which is uh, 3.2 volts right now. And here's 3.2 volts, and here's the lithium. And I've uh, soldered some tabs. I don't have a uh, welder thing. Um, so I've soldered some tabs onto this one, and it's got to go in there somehow. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. I need to remove this one first. I think I'm going to just pop off a tab, hopefully off of this one. Uh, there's ground a ground test point on the board, so I'm using that to supply this with. I'm going to supply it to test point 301, uh, which is V battery. And I'm going to put it through a 1K resistor right there. So I need to uh, attach that to the board. I'm going to solder it in place so I don't mess anything up. All right. So well, that's soldered on there. I'm going to attach my, let's see, I think I'll just put everything over to the side here. Attach my, my three volts to it. And now I should be backed up so I can take this battery out. Did I say I was nervous? Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. If I could pop this off this battery, that would be ideal. And I think it will. The reason I'm popping this off is there's no good solder place. There's no big pad to solder this down to. So I'm going to solder my new battery to this tab. I'm going to leave the tab in there. And I'm going to solder to the tab. There we go. Well, that side's open. This side's a little better because this is just ground. I can probably find a ground anywhere, but I'm going to try to, I'm going to, try to pop this tab off too and save Save the tab. Uh, did I say I was nervous? <sighs> All right. These things, if they lose their calibration, there's no way to put them back in. There's absolutely no way to salvage this thing. It becomes a brick. So there you go. Why am I nervous? Nothing to be nervous about. So I'm going to Solder this one on here. All right, I got some flux. Put some flux on here. Where's my solder? Here it is. All right, and put the positive side of the tab over here. All right, that is solid there. And let's straighten this one out. And we'll straighten this tab out. Put these together here. Did I say I was nervous? Just ten dollars, right? <laughs> That's all I pay. That's all I pay. It's ten dollars. Okay. All right. So let's. Oh, jeez. Was not hot. It was just sharp. All right. Let's see if we can't solder these together. All right. Batteries in place. Did I lose any memory? That will be the big key. I still have my backup in there. So let's measure voltages, make everything sure as everything is okay. Measure the voltage across the battery. God, my hands are shaking. 
uh, 3.35, that's very good. My backup battery was 3.2. Okay, so they don't match, which means the battery is the one supplying the voltage. That's good. Let's measure down here. 3.3 is here and 3.2 is here. Okay, good. So the battery is the one taking over. Battery looks like it's solid. Take off the backup. There we go. Let's measure the voltage again. Moment of truth. Did I do it right? Let's do the test point. Test point, 3.35, excellent. Battery is 3.35, excellent. Okay, everything is in. All right, let me remove the 1K resistor. Don't need it any longer. All right, process complete. Okay, battery's in. Um, what I need to do now is uh, do the programming for the part and we'll put the new part in there. And uh, I can't do it as we speak, but supposedly around five o'clock this evening, the mailman will come with the last thing that I need. The last thing that I need is a um, PLCC32 uh, to dip converter. I need that converter so I can use my programmer. I have the parts, I have the knowledge, <laughs> and uh, I'll leave the board here until, uh, until that part comes. And uh, yeah, so we are all, we are all backed up. I'm gonna leave my wrist strap on uh, so I can wear it when I do that thing over there. And uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go have something to drink, calm down, <laughs> and we'll go from there.